So you've done your homework and you made the decision that I'm going to move to the Philippines. Once your boots hit the ground, you're on your own. You're a foreigner in a third world country. And like my friend told me one time, he said, don't trust these people. He wasn't saying don't trust anyone. What he really meant to say was, be careful who you trust. Once you get there, you'll find out real quick you have a big fat target painted on your forehead just because you are a foreigner. Expect to be overcharged for goods and services. They have a Filipino price and a foreigner price. I can't tell you how many times I've had to turn away workers or walk away from vendors because they were trying to charge me some outrageous price. What I learned to do in every transaction was not to take the price that they were giving me, but I would always ask them for the last price. Last price in their lingo means the cheapest or the best offer. If they didn't give me the price that I wanted, I would just walk away or find someone else to provide the service for cheaper. Also, I suggest make friends with some of the local community and political leaders. Look up the local barangay hall and go find the barangay captain and meet him or her. A barangay in the Philippines is a small territorial and administrative district forming the most local level of government. They handle any type of community disputes or local level type things that may take place in the community. I would go to the police station, meet the police captain and some of the police that are in your area. Get familiar with them. Let them see your face and know who you are. What I would do is this. I would go and play basketball with them. And I'd meet some of the local officials and some of the businessmen and people that I need to know. Because if something ever goes down and you need help, you can call any of those guys because they're your friends. And they'll get you out of trouble. Now, you and I both know the main reason that most men go to the Philippines is for the women. It's like being in a candy shop. There's so many women to choose from. So, with there being so many options, you have to be careful that you don't pick the wrong options that may separate you from your belongings. I've seen it firsthand of men who have invited women up to their rooms and they look around or they fall asleep and the girl walks away with her passport, their wallet, and everything else. And they don't know what to do because they don't have a real name. They don't know where she lives at. They just met her online and invited her to the room and... She took advantage of them. So don't allow yourself to become a target because when you're over there, you always have to watch your back because you will get exploited if you're not careful. Also look for a place to stay that has other foreigners because sometimes things happen and you need someone you can relate to. Lastly, try not to go broke. You don't want to be stuck there with no money.